Hey everyone, today's video will be about me uh, showing some of the repair work I have done on my friend from work's laptop. He has an HP NV 17T, <clears throat> excuse me, has 12 gigabytes of RAM. The when you remove the cover, it has two slots for two hard drives. When you pull the bottom off, it has a slot for an NVMe SSD. Uh, have runs an NVIDIA something or other. This is recorded like after I've done part of the recording for the notebook already, laptop, whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy today's video. Uh, I have the back panel off of one Dennis McCallahan. I hope I said your name right. Sorry about that. Uh, of his laptop, the HP Envy with 12 gigs of RAM and an Intel Core i7, fourth generation MQ processor. I have noticed that this thing was dusty as hell. See previous pictures. Um, if you look how this is just crumbling. This thermal paste is no good. It was not providing the best transfer. Because of that, the chip was heating up quicker because it could not properly transfer the heat into the heat sink for the transference to cool it off. Uh, so another note is that the... Hey everyone, I, I'm pulling a page out of Jay's Two Cents book of doing my own editing uh, recording for things like this. When I did the work on this laptop, I was very tired, but I was under my own personal time crunch to get it done. What I meant to say on this was that is a heat sink. It is what allows the fan to cool the system down. The way it works is the thermal paste transfers the heat from the chip onto that copper plate there you see to the point where I'm pointing at, which is the fins. That area or surface area allows it to properly cool down by blowing air past it considering it was clogged that is what led to the poor well also led to the poor performance of the cooler uh i hope you all enjoy this and jay two cents this is a call out to you i hope you enjoy someone taking a page out of your book if you don't want me doing something like this again just uh shoot me an email or something or Post a comment in the uh, comment section. Uh, radi radiation, whatever the hell you want to call it. Sorry, people, I've been up forever. This piece right here was completely clogged with dust. And this heat sink is the same way. It's just, it's like clay. Hardened, well, not hardened, but it's clay. It's supposed to be slightly moist uh, for it to be properly conductive. Uh, right here is the slot for the M.2 SSD. Sorry, Dennis, but you want me to install that? I have to pull the bottom off again. Uh, right here are the two ribbon cable connectors for two different hard drives. Uh, that was the only thing wrong with this, from what I can tell, is this, and that was clogged. Unfortunately, I cannot clean the blades on the fan like I want to. When I normally clean these kind of fans, I pull this metal cover off, but as you can see here, it's actually one whole piece. You can't pull this cover off. It's the same on both sides. Uh, I ran a stress test before I took it apart just to see if it was a bad hard drive alone. Unfortunately, the hard drive, while it's bad, wasn't the only problem. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Dennis, I'll tell you this. You definitely take care of your stuff. Uh, that's all for now. <clears throat> Some other notes about this. If I were to put an M.2 SSD in here, I would most likely have to use a half-height one, which wouldn't be very large. The most I could think it would be able to do would just be 
able to hold the uh, OS, everything else would have to be stored on hard drive. So I would personally forgo using that, even though it's extremely fast. And uh, have two different drives in here. An SSD, like 120 or 240 gigabyte silicon power. Or, oops, a uh, SanDisk 120 gigabyte, because <clears throat> you can get their uh, monitoring software. Just to keep an eye on the health of the SSD as well as updating firmware. I would put a 2 terabyte HDST drive in here. I just prefer HDST drives because I've had very little issues out of them. And I have one that's about 10 years old and it's finally starting to show its wear and tear. The smart status is dripping. <clears throat> and considering that this thing is capable of currently being 12 gigs. That means that one of these sticks is 8 gigabyte, the other is 4. You can replace the 4 with another 8 and have 16 gigabytes. Uh, on a hell of a laptop. That's a big! Sorry about that. Can't resist. See you in a bit. To replace the thermal paste that is currently in this system, I'll be using Arctic Silver 5. I would prefer to use something from, well, Arctic Cooling Solutions, I guess you'd call them. The place where I get all my current computer fans that I prefer uh, like they're I think it's MX1 or something anyways Everywhere. time to get a scrubbing clean up those cores so I have finished scrub dub dubbing as you can see cores are nice and shiny again even this one which technically I did not have to clean as it uses a thermal pad but I cleaned it anyways just so they're all nice and clean that's an NVIDIA something uh n one four p j v two something something uh and as you can see even this is nice and clean scrub this and now it's all ready for thermal paste uh hopefully this solves the massive overheating issue where it jumped to 100 degrees celsius kind of like when i nearly nuked my uh gaming rig when my pump failed on my water cooler i'll keep y'all posted on the next section in three, two, one. Now, people wonder why uh, he, we don't uh, put thermal paste straight on the heatsink itself instead of the CPU, GPU cores, or whatever you're using thermal paste on. The reason for that is, even if we put it right in the middle, it may not be the best application area, just because of how some coolers twist. And, uh... For example, Hyper 212 Evil can be applied in two ways, and sometimes it just doesn't contact the core enough, depending on what processor you're putting it on top of. Uh, but that's why we do it this way. The reason I use the line method on this one is because this is a long core um, die, whatever you want to call it, considering it's a four core, eight logical threads. Uh, this is once again uses a thermal pad, so no thermal paste on that. Uh, let's go ahead and get it back together and see how it does. On another note, whenever I uh, first took this heat sink off, this screw right here was severely loose. I don't know if that was from the shaking on the from the fan or anything. I just thought I'd make a note of it, considering I'm going to be showing Dennis this video as soon as I give him the computer back. Uh, take over. Beep. I know I forgot to take uh, images of this temperatures before. They're already running 24 Celsius degrees cooler. Degrees Celsius, sorry. Uh, is this great also transferring better? CPU, yeah, I know it's running slow. We're going to rerun Prime 95. And, uh, see how it works. I can also feel a difference. I can actually feel airflow coming out of the vent now. Dennis, I suggest you let me clean this once a year. Bleh. I know you need to take care of your stuff, but damn, that was a lot of dust. I've only ever seen that one other time. Although, two other times. One was mine and one was a friend's. Um... Jump over to local, wrong one, we want to go to network, 
see how much time I got left. Shit. I'm offloading my files to the NAS. I am almost out of time on my camera. I have reset the thermal temperatures on CQID hardware monitor. We're gonna run some benchmarks. Remind me later. Yes, I know you're old. Me. We will be doing skydiver. Let us run. What's he doing? I asked for a photo and like bonds. You keep waiting for the Wow, that's pretty smooth. Yes, it's been thrown that saw in that part. Although now I see chopping a little bit. I'm a guy, but I wish I was that fit to be able to do that.
Mm, that's why they got higher. I wish that they had uh, the results for computers that were made in by year, just so you can get a more accurate uh, comparison to other laptops that are made in that year, or computers. Uh, scroll down real quick. Really, HP. Tell you about. See? Although that explains why I saw the Samsung chips on the board. Uh, if I'm right, then that is the memory from the board, chips on the board from the Samsung. <clears throat> Sorry, people, I'm tired. I saw some Samsung chips on the motherboard, which look like uh, memory chips that are similar to some game consoles I've seen. Uh, my guess is that those are there for the graphics card that's built into the board. Uh, bleep, bleep, bleep. Max turbo clock on this i7 is 3.1 gigahertz. Oi, oi. And yes, I'm running Windows 10 because he will eventually be buying a copy of this for me. Uh, let's see. Yep, I was right. One, uh, 4 gigabyte module and one 8 gigabyte module. They're running at an odd speed, though. Well, that's all for now. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, yes, this is weird because I'm wearing the same clothes. But, uh, I will be posting a second part to this video after I get the hard drive in. Uh, I'm doing my best to get in the best deal I can from Go Hard Drive. Sorry, Go Daddy. Whatever the hell you want to call it. My apologies. I don't script anything. Uh, actually, I can look up right now. I just emailed them. Beep, 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 beep. Doing. Yeah, gohardrive.com is where I go to get my hard drives. Once again, this is not sponsored. Uh, I promise you that. If you want, I can show you where I pay for my hard drives. But that's where I'm going to go to get his hard drive. He wants a one terabyte. And I've only had, once again, a slight issue out of one of the hard drives. I emailed the company and they said, oh, send it back. We'll do our best to do what we can to help you. They sent me another drive. And I know it was another drive because I keep track of my own inventory. Uh, serial numbers, my own barcodes, my own barcode scanner. And I just realized I'm getting into a slight rant again. So, uh, if you liked the video, press like. If you dislike it, press dislike. I just ask that you please, please tell me why you dislike it. And to the people who keep posting the comments that, please use our free and so-and-so music. Uh, I once again research those because I don't want to get hit for copyright infringement. So, please kindly stop doing that unless you actually own the music or whatever I'm going to be using. Because I do honestly... Uh, want to use other people's stuff and give them credit where credit is due. So I wanted to thank y'all and have a good night.